the the client uh -huh. um, is a fundraiser for leukemia and lymphoma. Uh -huh. So she asked me to incorporate the colors of their um, logos, old and new. Ah. So that included red, green, and purple. So here's L, oh, yeah. L, S uh -huh. for leukemia and lymphoma, and then the blood drops. Oh, how nice. So, and then of course, symbol of the mandala being right. part of the universe. And then her universe being, she does fundraising for them by riding marathons. Riding oh. marathons. Okay, so it's bike riding marathons. So the wheel. Man, that so, is so cool. Yeah, it's really, it was a fun piece to me. I bet, yeah, let's look at it in the light. It's, oh, how beautiful. So this was, this was a fun piece. Looks like it. here and I'm talking with Kara Brown in her studio. Her company is Art Glass Spirit. You can find her online at artglassspirit.com. Yes. Very good. So tell me about this space I'm in. This is really a cool place. This is the Goldmark Cultural Center and it's uh, in Richardson, actually in Dallas, across the street from Richardson. Mm -hmm. uh, conglomerate of our artist studio space is being rented out. One building is pretty much rented out and the second building is being rented out. So oh, yeah. there are spaces anywhere from 225 square feet on up to a thousand or more. Wow, how big is this? Is this this like, is 265, I think. This is a nice, nice studio. So how long have you been doing stained glass? Uh, since 1992. Okay, and um, so tell me why glass? What do you like about glass? Oh my gosh. I love glass because it combines all of life's opposites. Oh. It, you can, it, uh, it's technically a liquid, but it's hard. Uh, it can appear curved and straight. It can be translucent and opaque. Uh -huh. it, can, it just didn't combine. You can combine it into anything you want it to be. All of life's opposites. I like that. <laughs> Good talking point. I really like that. Um, what have you got going over here? Let's look at one of those. you got some leaves cut out, yeah. I see. So we're doing... These are actually going to be Christmas ornaments. Oh, and I, I'm doing that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm working on ornaments. So I'm oh, thinking... Cool. <laughs> I can't see through this one as well. Um, I'm thinking I might add these to some, um, I've got some driftwood, driftwood back here mm. and do kind of a mid-century look. Oh, nice. I love mid-century yeah, stuff. too. Yeah, so. very good. So will you have stuff like this uh, at the artist market? I will have stuff like this at the artist market, yes. Cool. So Kara will be showing with us at the Urban Artist Market in October 27th. Um, so, and there'll be, you'll have holiday stuff and everyday stuff. So I'll have things ranging from this size up to four foot. Wow. So in anything in between. So we've got a price point. Yeah, uh, for everybody. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So tell me more about your process and working with stained glass. Because I work with glass, but I cut it with nippers. So I'm not doing any, you have to, you're welding or working with torch and everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I got that. I so got one of those. That's the glass Pistol cutter. Grip cutter. Yeah. So I like to do a combination of fused glass and stained glass, and I've really just started uh, combining the two. Uh -huh. So um, it just kind of depends. I've got a little kiln. I've got a big kiln. Uh, and then, of course, cutting the different pieces. I like to go mm -hmm. back to uh, old project work. Like right. This glass is from 1992. Uh-huh. <laughs> And a lot vintage. of vintage, <laughs> vintage, exactly. <laughs> and a lot of the pieces that uh, combine um, meaning. I love, I love oh. hiding meaning in a piece, mm -hmm. so that only the owner really knows, or you have to sit and look at it. Look at it. Um, so, is your house just full of stained glass, or is it like the cobbler's kids that have no shoes? It's kind of like the cobbler's kids, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting yeah. there. So, very cool. Well, I'm just fascinated. I can't wait to see um, all the work that you're going to have there. Do you do a lot of these sales? Uh, I've done a few, so still kind of trying to find my niche. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing that I have started doing that's kind of fun, and I wish I had the piece here, is translating children's drawings oh, into stained glass. Oh, how cool! Is so that? actually, I've uh, seen people do that with mosaic, but I haven't yeah. seen it with stained glass. That would be awesome. This piece. So this is my daughter's uh -huh. drawing. Oh. She's 14, but she was four when she drew okay. this. And I asked her, did you mean to make a man? Uh-huh. And she said, no. Oh, I see the arm right yeah. there and a head. 
head. It's kind of a robot guy almost. Yeah. Yep. This is very crude. This is this is a long time ago, but um, so now that's what. How nice. So it's a lot of fun, and I'm doing and so it. customized. Yes. You know that's what's really nice. Yeah. It's something they can't. You cannot get that on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and it, so I'm really having fun doing that. And, yeah. Um, really very just, nice. And what else are you working on? What are you working on to get ready for the show? Are you ready for the show? Uh, of course not. You're never <laughs> ready, right? You're never ready no. until it's there. <laughs> exactly. We love deadlines. Exactly. <laughs> so I've got, let's see, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven smaller pieces back here. Mm -hmm. And I've got I'll two or three. We'll cycle them through. Yeah. yeah. Other pieces I'm working on and some fun kind of modern snowman and things All like right. that. So, um don't know what to expect, so trying to kind what of cover gonna, it up. I'm curious, what are you going to do for your display? Do you have walls? Or are you going to have um, I'm going to have, I'll be in the front, mm -hmm. so I'm going to have a large um, uh, metal bar that I can be in the lobby front or inside. I think at the front uh, facing the windows. I'm going to be up there with you. Oh, yay! How yay. fun! <laughs> Everybody! <Yay. laughs> yeah, I'm going to be up there with you in the front. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. um, and then I'm thinking I may do some um the lights have you seen it i have not been in there in years i was worried about being up front because i thought people are gonna go in and they'll save their money until they've seen it all then they'll forget about us but no i i like the front the natural light natural Ooh. light